Hello, um, welcome back again. I think I've got my sound back now. So I do apologise about that. Um, it's been one of those um, mornings this morning, to be honest. So hopefully you're still with me. We're only five minutes late. Um, let me know if you can hear me now before we start all over again. And again, so many apologies about that. Um, oh, you're there, lovely. Can't see any comments yet. I think it's it, it may be one of those technical issues days today, so um, I do apologise. Um, oh, hello, Vanessa. Tracy, you can hear me. Lovely. Don't know why. Everything's okay at rehearsal. And then, um, oh, hello, Lisa. Um, yeah, and then, then when we go, like, happened before, didn't it? A few weeks ago. Don't know why. Don't know how it happens. Anyway, welcome to, oh, that went, that went so only dogs could hear. Welcome to the Half Yard Sewing Club Sew Along. I'll tell you a little bit about the Half Club in a bit if you if you weren't aware um, what it's all about. And uh, <laughs> got you too, Mary. Um, hello, Rita. Hello, Jenny. Hello, Sal Salome. Um, and Brenda in Kentucky. Hello, hello, Jackie. We're going to be making a little basket. And um, this was um, an idea from Christine Bleach, who emailed me a few weeks ago and just said, how about making one of these? The one that she sent me had an embroidered picture in the middle of it, but the challenge was to uh, figure out a way of making the sides in a different, different fabric to the base, which, which we've done. But I think it's going to be really useful for keeping things like the clips in, because I'm getting too many from a little bowl now. Um, so it could be a bread basket, it could be just something to keep your cotton wool, your reusable wipes in, I should say. Um, or you're sewing bits and bobs as well, whatever you like, but it's quite simple to make. So let me know if you're going to sew along with me. Um, if you're uh, subscribed and allow notifications on YouTube, then you should have had your materials list. And it was on, yeah, it was a bit late. Um, so it was on, um, on Facebook a couple of days ago. Hello, Joe. Hello, Jennifer. Hello, Eileen. Um, very frosty. It's lovely this morning, Jane. Um, it's frosty, but it's all sparkly um, here in Lincolnshire. So it's, it's not slippery icy like it was last week. It's just, it reminds me of Christmas cards from when I was a kid when everything, it was like snow scenes and, and glitter on the roofs and everything. Anyway, um, lovely. Denise, Denise is on two platforms today. Hello, Jan. And, uh, and Zell. Zell's sewing along, lovely, we'll get started in a bit. So I just want to tell you a little bit about Half Yard Club and what the projects are coming up. And to apologise that uh, at the moment you can't sign in. So I can show you the website, but that's another technical issue that we're having this morning. But we're on it, we're sorting it. So um, if you wanted to join, yes, there is a video, Terry, have a look on, on my YouTube channel. I can't remember what it's called, Bowl probably, but there is a, a video for that. Um, so I so a few years ago, hoping to find you again. Oh, hello, Alicia. Yeah, we'll, we'll get your Sojo back, don't worry. Um, yeah, so I can show you around the website, but at the moment, if you wanted to join up or log in, then we are having a bit of trouble with that, but uh, it'll be sorted. Um, Jean says, I've frozen. I'm not, I've not frozen here, Jean. That's going out okay. Um, hi, Sharon. Um, and they say, yes, sir. thank you, Lisa. Um, right, beautiful and nippy. It is a bit, I have to say. It was. I mean, it's colder. It was colder in here this morning when I came down than than it was outside, actually. Um, so, have we got any new members? Um, anybody thinking of joining up? Got any questions about the Half Yard Club? Do come and ask them while we're here. If um, if I um, Deirdre's not frozen. No, I'm, I'm not frozen here. Might be might be your end. Um, hi, Kitty. Haven't haven't been here for much. We missed you. We've been talking about you. <laughs> um, so let me show you around. Basically, Half Yard Sewing Club is a monthly subscription website. It's £5.99 a month, or if you go for a whole year's worth, it's £60, so you get two months for free. And every month you will receive a project with a video and a pattern when necessary, and um, step-by-step -step instructions, and that'll be released on the first of the month. So your January project has been the um, sewing machine bag. So that was quite a, quite a big project. Um, the second project in the month, oh no, 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 I'm wrong, aren't I? That was December's. Your January project was the hats. So we had beanie hats for the girls, the guys, and the ladies. So that was the child, that was the ladies. And then there was a reversible men's hat as well. 
So uh, three patterns, three videos for that one. So that was your main project. So machine bag was December. And then the second project, because you get two, one with a video, one without. The second project comes out on around about the 15th. And this month it is the Buddy, which is an upcycled project. So you can make them from anything knitted, whether it's an old sweater, that happens to be a scarf or a cardigan or something like that. And then um, you'll also receive a block of the month, which has been designed by my friend Melissa. And it's, it's this one this time. Um, and it's Christmassy, so all of the blocks will accu accumulate, cumulate, um, all come together in November and the December project is going to be putting it all together so you've got a quilt for Christmas basically. So that's what you get each month. But if you show you the website, you do get quite a lot more. Um, I'll show you next month as well actually while we're here. It's this one behind me. Um, so if you have a look over here, where have you gone? Have I sent the screen? I've sent the screen black now, haven't I? Uh, just bear with me a second while I just do this and it should come up. There we go. Um, sorry about that. It's, it's, just, it's just one of those days. So th this is what the home page looks like. So if you haven't seen it before, you go to halfyardsownclub.com and play the video. I'm not going to play it now. Um, but that's just me telling you all about the club. And then you go through to the different projects. Um, so again, this is this month. That's my very handsome son. And there's your second month's project, which is a refashioned um, toy. There's your block of the month. And then if you just go back through some of the projects before, you can't actually, because uh, I'm not logged in, I can't show you the step by steps for any of these. Um, but you do get an idea of the variation of projects that you're going to be able to make. Um, so there's quilting, there's homewares, um, bit of patchwork, um, toys, dressmaking, um, cushion covers, bags. There's a wide variety of different projects. There's door stops, sewing machine dust covers, table mats, table runners, there's an apron, a cat bed. Um, so I try to keep all of the projects very different each month. So you're not going to get two projects that are both dressmaking. You won't get two projects that are both bags. Um, so something to keep you interested and something to keep you inspired. And you'll have two years worth of projects on the day that you join. So these are there, you'll have 48 projects all together, plus all of the previous block of the months as well, because we don't take those down. So if you just click back up to the top again, there's also um, tips and techniques. Some of these are video, and some of these are just instructions, but um, sewing with laminates, embroidery stitches, chain stitching, um, at, oh, how to use different tools, adjusting patterns. There's, there's a lot of different techniques in there, and that's a growing section. And then about me, there's a blog. There are offers on my books. So if you join today, you will receive 30% off all of my books. Um, and then there's also the Ask a Member page, and this is really popular. So you ask the question, if I don't get back to you straight away, then uh, somebody else will. So it's a nice chatty little area that you can spend some time in as well. So that is, oh, you don't want to see that, do you? Um, that's the website. That's what you wanted to see. <laughs> um, but again, at the moment, we're having trouble signing in. So take note of the website address and then come back, maybe, maybe try, um, try again tomorrow. Um, sound and video keeps stopping. I'm going out okay from here, so I think we're okay. Um, not sure. I uh, missed that one. Sorry if I missed any of your comments. I've, I've missed quite a, a lot there. Oh, the birthday bear. Yes, that is birthday bear. That's actually one of the projects that was taken down after a couple of years. And. Um, we are revisiting some of the most popular projects. So if you've been on the Half Yard Club Facebook page, you may have seen our question saying, what would you like to see again? And you wanted to see Birthday Bear. So Birthday Bear came back. So we see, oh, hello, Anne, welcome along. She's a new member. How are you finding it? What have you made? And, and do say, you know, if you have any, um, any requests, I can't guarantee that we're going to be able to do every one of them because we do get quite a few, but you can message us at the, um, at the Half Yard um, Club and um, Dog Coat 
might, I might do a dog coat, actually. Um, yeah, we do take everything into account. We are planned for the next, well, up to July at the moment, but do let us know. Karen, I saw your message as well, and I've asked the girls in the office to look into that for you, because uh, we don't want you starving. What is the leafy thing? The leafy thing, Sharon, is next month's project. And it is an overarm storage caddy. The top of it is quite solid because I wanted you to, uh, you wouldn't put a cup of tea in there, but I wanted you to be able to store things in there without them falling out. Um, so that's somewhere that, let me just move these out of the way and see if we can do that. Um, it's got a pin cushion, which is detachable, but you can actually fix that to the box if you wanted to. Um, so that's where I keep my pins and I'd maybe keep my clips around the edge of the box because it is quite sturdy. I've used Decafil for that one. So mine's got a bit squished when I carried it down here. And then there's pockets on the one side, two small, one large. And there's a zip pocket on this side as well. So I'm thinking, oh, my tweezers in there, that that could be something that you pop over the arm of the chair that you're sitting in. And if you're doing a bit of hand sewing in front of the TV or of an evening, you can keep all of your bits and bobs. But it's somewhere to keep your glasses when you're not using them, not down the side of the sofa, um, or your TV remote control and things like that. So that, that, that's quite a simple project. Some of the projects you're going to find quite challenging, maybe, if you're a new, uh, if you're a new sewer. Um, not unachievable, but some more difficult than others. I think this is one of the more simple projects there. Snacks and the remote. I think that's a really good idea. And again, you don't have to have the pincushion in there. So if you're making it as a gift for somebody who doesn't sew, they're not going to want a pincushion, are they? Um, iPads are freezing, apparently. Sorry about that. Um, beautiful in Norfolk, sat in the garden with crochet. Oh, I think it's a bit chilly here to be sitting outside, I have to say. Um, oh, birthday bars, really easy to make very easy to make and the nice thing about things like that is um, it doesn't have to be perfect because that's not exactly a bear is it really I mean be, be honest but a bearish bearish but you know you don't have to be perfect with it um, Janet's finishing a bookshelf quilt today that sounds nice before starting the block of the month um, making Rosie on mass Rosie reindeer <laughs> that was one of last year's projects oh should we, should we do a bit of sewing um, I try to make I try to make things easy to make, but um, there are a lot of you that are experienced sewers as well, and I don't want you to think, oh, that's that's just too easy for me. So uh, what I what I do um, is take inspiration. So maybe you're a dressmaker when we can introduce you to quilting. Maybe you're the quilter and you want to do some dressmaking, or you've never made a bag before, because there's so many different genres of sewing, isn't there? So um, maybe we can get you to cross from one to another if you're a more experienced sewer. Um, Joyce is making Valentine mats. Um, <laughs> so, stop shouting, Sarah. Um, I think the Irish folding I've done with fabric. I did a re reverse applique heart on the front of a messenger bag in my quilting book. And I think we've done it here, haven't we? We did the, um, just in a, the lying around, the Christmas tree placemats. Was that in the sew along? But that's all I've done, not, not doing anything fancy. Oh, I did the tea cosy as one of the projects where we overlap them so it looked like a herringbone effect. So yes, I have, that's all I've been doing. Um, Maddie should be out in um, October, I think, Erica. Yes, but that, that, that I've said the kind of projects that, um, you know, if you're a more advanced sewer, you might think, well, I want, I want to put a fastener on there so, and a handle so I can pick it up and carry it around with me. Or I wanted to add another zip pocket. Or maybe I'm going to put a zip pocket on the inside where I can keep my secret things and nobody else can see them. So I think more advanced sewers, even though that's a simple project, you, you kind of, you can adapt things so they're up to your standard. But I do try and make things achievable for everybody. I think the majority of people are beginner sewers or coming back to sewing from what I've, I've read of your comments anyway. Um, right, so have you got all your bits and bobs cut out? So these are my, my things. So you've got the two long pieces for the sides and two shorter pieces for the sides. Again, all of the measurements are in the um, description box on Facebook and you would have had a no notification on YouTube. I've got my fusible fleece, I've used H640. 
um, for the sides and the base and then I've got a contrast fabric for the base and all of these are for the ties. Now I did give you the heads up that if you wanted to um, get ahead with these we're going to fold them in half and in half again and fold in and, uh, and press them. So that's going to be quite time consuming but I thought if any of you are sewing along and you wanted to get ahead with that um, then you, you, you can do that because I think I can do that quite quickly so you might not might not keep up. Um, in fact we'll start off with that if you like. So let me just switch I'm not switch my iron on bear with me just a second. Um, oh thank you very much Jane. Denise is a new member hello welcome along can't wait to start making some lovely projects I've just finished the passport wallet oh good. Um, Somebody's asking about, oh, Bosal. Oh, thanks, Zell. So, I don't, aren't you lovely? Just answering people's questions when I can't see you all the time. They, your questions or comments just go like this, so I can't, um, can't keep up with everything, I'm afraid. Um, what was Anne's question? Sorry, I missed that one. I got uh, Lisa says good question, Anne, but I didn't, I didn't actually see it, so sorry about that. Post it again. Or Lisa, let me know. Is it worth investing in an ultra glide foot when I already have a walking foot? Um, and secondly, do I need more than one size rolled hem foot? To be honest, I don't know what an ultra glide foot is. I've not used an ultra glide foot, so I can't advise on that, Sarah. And I've never used more than one size rolled hem which is, I think mine's a, a, a two millimeter, something like that, it's a tiny one. Um, so sorry, let me know what that foot is, don't know what it is. Right, oh, I'm way behind there. Okay, that should be hot enough now. Um, does the Maddie book include a pattern for Maddie or just a clue? It does include the pattern for Maddie. Um, it's very slightly different so the um, the arms and the legs are a slightly different shape so the the maddy that you have on the half yard club has got very flat legs this one's got a bit of shape to it but the clothes will fit from one to the other but yeah because it's it's not a half yard club book it's a maddy book so there's going to be a lot of people buy it that aren't half yard club members never heard of it so it's ev everything's in there the doll and lots of outfits have to say she's a very trendy girl okay so I'm going to do that so I can see you. Fold the ends up by about a quarter of an inch and press. Fold this in half. This is a little bit fiddly because they're, they're tiny pieces, but these are going to make the ties. And then to the center. So it's like creating, ooh, <laughs> it's like creating a piece of bias binding, but very narrow. I'm only folding one end over because the other end's going to go into the seam. And then we'll fold the second half together. And then fold in half again. I'm moving this around the ironing mark because it does get very hot. Fold it in half and then we're going to sew all the way down one side. I'm not going to go down the side and across the bottom because I know that's going to disappear into my sewing machine. And um, it's not going to come undone anyway. So we need to do this with all eight pieces. So this is why I was suggesting that you you got the heads up and maybe a lot of you have started this already. So have you done this already? Or are you ironing along with me? Um, Jilly, Robin isn't in the book at the moment. He may get a mention, but um, I'm, not sh I'm not sure yet, actually. We're having another um, book planning meeting shortly, I think, so... That may be a suggestion that comes up. So literally, I'm going to do this with all eight pieces. So, And it's not the most interesting viewing. But if you're sewing along, then that's what you're going to be doing anyway, won't you? <coughs> oh, Zell, that's it. I was going to mention that, actually, Zell, and I forgot. Of course you can use ribbon instead. Um... Use your tweezers for this bit so you don't burn yourself. Oh, I'm all right. I've got plastic nails. <laughs> they don't get too close. Um, Ultra Glide Foot is a molded from special resin allowing easier sewing of fabrics than I otherwise stick to the standard metal foot. 
Oh, okay. But I shall look into that. Linda, thank you very much for that. I have no idea. Uh, no, Julie, I don't know where Bobbin is. She came, she came down with me. She jumped on a sofa and she ran off again. So, but once she's gone inside, she can't get back out unless somebody lets her out. Um, so she might not be back down. She might come down with Gary if I, if I get her coffee at some point. Um, oh, the dear, thank you. Is it a Teflon? It sounds the same as a Teflon foot, doesn't it? Uh, making a muddy doll for a new granddaughter. My, my granddaughter's here at the moment and she's actually making tea for two muddies and a robin in the living room. I think they're having a picnic, so they're all sitting on chairs around the coffee table. It's quite sweet. Um, right. I'm on number four, so about halfway there. <laughs> oh, Sarah nodded off on the sofa. I hope you get better soon. Hopefully it's one of the mild strains you've got, so you're not suffering too much. A bit like the non-stick foot. Oh, right, okay. I suppose it's just a non-stick foot, but called a different name, isn't it? I should give it a try. Mind you, the machine that I've got, um, that I use all the time, has got a built-in walking foot, so I wouldn't use one there. Um, right. Is that another name for the for a non-stick? Yes. Sounds like it, doesn't it? Um, listening along, packing to move. Oh, Shelley, how exciting. You go in far, got much to pack. Hello, Carla in Ontario. Nice to have you along today. All right, so that's number four. I said I was going to do this quite quickly, didn't I? To show you what I'm doing if you just popped on. So these are going to be the ties that tie the basket together in the corners. That's something just dropped on the floor. So these are eight inches long by one inch wide. And I'm just folding one end over and then creasing the center. You could use a little bit of stray, uh, spray, uh, stray starch, <laughs> um, spray starch or best price or something like that if, um, if your fabric doesn't crease very easily. And we are having a problem with the Half Yard Club this morning. Um, logging in. Um, it's the same for everybody, so nobody can actually log in at the moment. We have got the tech team working overtime, so hopefully it's going to be sorted soon. But yeah, I only realised that this morning. We don't, um, um, we don't know what it is at the moment, but uh, it'll, it'll be sorted, don't worry. Is Half Yard, Half Yard Bear? Should have called it Half Yard Bear. I've lost, oh, birthday bear, back on the half yard club. Some projects are making a resurgence. So we're, we're revisiting some of the ones that have been taken down. And um, half yard bear is one of, one of the popular ones. Um, right, I have a one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So uh, three more to go. Um, downsizing, moving to Western Supermet. Well, how lovely. Going to the seaside. Right. Almost there. I said, because it, it's a sew along, I wanted to do all of this with you. So, cutting out's already done, but I thought some of you might be ironing along with me. So, I didn't want to jump it just in case. Are bias binding making kits worth getting? Bias binding making kits. Do you mean like the the tool? Yes, definitely. Use that a lot. What are the kits? I didn't know you could get kits. Let me know. Right, so again, fold in over. Fold in half. Morning, Mary Buckley and Paxos. What's your weather like over there? We're all we're all frosty and I think it's I think it's lovely actually. It's all frosty, frosty and glistening, and the cobwebs look very pretty on the gates. Um, but it's really sunny as well, which is which is very nice. A seatbelt cosy. A seatbelt. What's it? You have to tell me what these things are. What's a seatbelt cosy? I don't know what a seatbelt cosy is. Yes, Sarah, the tool is well worth getting hold of. Um, they come in all different sizes. I use the one inch more than anything, but I could have used a quarter of an inch one to make these, actually. 
because um, they're a bit like bias binding. Oh, okay then, Janet, thank you for joining us anyway. Come back if you can. I'll see you next time. Um, yeah, at least they, uh, they stopped making that for a while, um, the Simplicity Bias Binding Maker, and apparently the reason was because um, it doesn't biodegrade, that you can't throw it away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one more, apparently. But they were they were really good. Really did like those. Good washing weather. I think I think things might be a little bit stiff though. Just joined this morning. Can I go and make rosemary? We're making a a basket, a square basket, with different coloured sides to the base today. And as I'm taking my time with it because it's a sew along, so I know there will be some of you that are actually sewing along this morning. And um, Christine, who asked me about this, is one of our one of our silent viewers. So if you're there, Christine. Um, are you sewing along as well? So, right, last one. Yes, Michelle, this is the fab th this fabric is on my website, and don't forget that you get ten percent off if you're a club member as well. On the de so they're, they're two completely different websites. So my shop is debbieshawsewing.com, and if you are a half yard club member, then you will have a discount code, so you get ten percent off anything when you then go to the shop. And this is the fabric that I designed. It's one that's not my last collection, it's the previous one, um, which is called Birds and Bobbins. And we do have some in stock. It, we sold out completely when we first launched it. Um, and we were up at the, um, the wholesalers the other day and spotted a few bolts of my fabric. So I thought, we're, we're, having, we're having that, we thought. And we did. Um, right, okay, so I'm just going to sew down one side of this because it's too narrow to sew through two and I'm not sewing across the end because it's not going to come undone and I, I, you'd need tiny stitches and it would probably disappear into the sewing machine anyway. Right, so I'll chain stitch these together which means as I'm coming up to the end of one, I'm just going to stick the next one under there and carry on. Saves on thread, saves on time, and also it helps to prevent the fabric being eaten up by your feed dogs. <coughs> so some months in New Queensland, 27 degrees and 9.30, or 9.30 p.m. Welcome along from down under. Um, Alana's lost a sewing mojo. Oh, do you, do you know where, uh, where, where I keep mine? You know one of those drawers that you have, probably in the kitchen, where you keep all of your the keys from cars that you don't own anymore or houses that you used to live in and and foreign change and you know that drawer that's just got everything in probably find your mojo in there because you know, go and have a rummage around and see if you can find it if anybody else has seen a large alana's mojo can you can you let her know she's lost it i think i found it behind the sofa have you, oh down the back of the sofa with the, the loose change the, the mojo yeah 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 oh there you have down the back of the sofa gary says hot chocolate oh yes yes please hot chocolate Oh, I'm sorry, I've got your order wrong. Where's my mat? Here, use this. Look, <laughs> that's no good. Can't oh, use this. No, no, I'm making that. Put on with first. Can I just hold it? Yeah, just just stand there and hold it for me. Oh, here we go. It's it's tidied away. Thank you. Right. You know they'll start putting orders in now. Um. Yeah, the beanie hat. Try a beanie hat, Alana. That's going to be as who says that? Um, Maggie. Something quick, something easy, something that you can wear would be good. Something that you can use, and then you're going to think, yeah. Oh, Sarah's Sarah's got her mojo in the cleaning cupboard. Um, so what was that about feet? Um. Oh, sorry, I missed that. De Deborah wants a latte. Oh, it is gone. Um, there was a question about 
uh, width of feet, I think. Oh, sorry, it's, it's disappeared. Sorry if I missed that. Um, sunny in the south of France. <laughs> I'll move it in a minute, Bonnie, don't worry. You don't want that getting spilt. The sewing machines, the sewing machine secret compartment. Yeah, have a look in there. Alana, Julie, Julie says in, in, in your secret compartment where you keep your um, mint imperials and your skittles. Might be in there. I love these lives. Um, waiting on brandy and baby shampoo. I know, it's, it's slow with the brandy and baby shampoo. A bit, bit early. Uh, no, well, maybe not. We're nearly at 12 o'clock. Um, quick and easy for somebody as a present. That's a good idea. I think the thing is not to, not to start something that's going to be a challenge, isn't it? Because then you're never going to finish it and that'll put you off again. So I think you're right. Ladies and gents. A quilted beanie hat is Alan's making. Where can I put that? There. Zell's is in the bottom of a scrap fabric pile. Oh, now then, save your, scap your scaps. Save your scrap fabrics for Marcher's project. Just saying, little bits of fabric. I keep mine in a, I've actually got it, it's, it's like a picnic basket uh, with a handle on the top, um, on the floor at the side of my cutting table. So and I've been saving, in fact, I'm going colour themed, I've been saving things blue. So any little bits of scrap fabric in blues, because the project I'm going to make, I want it to be all the same. But I'm not telling you what the project is yet, but if you wanted to make yours in brightly coloured fabrics or even um, use old clothing or something like that, then... That's absolutely fine, but small pieces of fabric are going to be used. And that will be on the 1st of March. So just, just, thought, you know, just thought I'd pre-warn you. Um, right. Let's fuse the fleece to the side pieces. So we put all those to one side for now. And let's do the base first. So I'm going to pop my fleece right in the centre. I don't normally iron from the fleece side but I just want to make sure this is in the centre. So we're a, we're a bit bright up there aren't we? The sun is actually coming through really strong. So I'm just going to steam that a little bit. You will see that your fleece is a quarter of an inch shorter than the outer pieces. And this is a Valiseline H640. It likes steam. So just keep going over that until it's stuck. And we'll do the same with the side pieces. So we'll take the shorter pieces first of all and put that in the centre here. doesn't matter if you're not exactly a quarter of an inch. And then iron here. Carol, this machine is um, an Elner 560. Um, the machine I use, I've, I've got this one down here because it's it's lightweight, it's portable, and I'm quite aware, we've got quite a long garden, I mean, I'm, I'm at the bottom, so I didn't want to be carrying my machine backwards and forwards every week because it's too heavy. Um, but it's a really lovely machine. I got it off Amazon. Um, the machine that I use day to day is um, a Genomi 6600, which isn't actually made anymore. Um, I think they've upgraded it to only do a... 720 I can't remember what they call it um, but that that's quite a big cast machine it's really heavy I can't actually lift it but that's my that's my day-to-day -day machine and I've only got the two I don't have I've got I've got lots of these old-fashioned machines behind me I do have quite a collection of those but I've only got two machines that I actually use I'm not one of these people that has a you know a collection of eight sewing machines to choose from or anything right so that's the two shorter um, pieces or fleeced. If you wanted to make this, oh, that's hot, um, a little bit stiffer, you could use um, Decaville Light, which is what I've used in the box here. Um, that's H640, this is Decaville Light, um, or you could use a foam, but you will need some kind of stabiliser to make it stand up. Now I'm just going to fold this and Crease the centre 
and these pieces as you see are shorter so I want to place those in the middle so I've just mark the center of the fleece mark the center of the long strip and I'm ironing those together oh, I'm glad you like the fabric Jen actually the sewing machine oh it's not here is it or is it these are all actually my sewing machines that's my my collection of old-fashioned sewing machines and then we'll do the same with the second piece here so again just fold to find the center um, the big one yeah I've, I've never had a problem with my book well if I took it in for a service which is the first one it's ever had in about five six years something like that um, <clears throat> because the the needle was hitting the foot as it was coming down and it was something to do with the take-up lever going inside we got a little bit wobbly but considering the usage that it gets and it's on the go all day long because um, okay. when Kim's working here which she is at the moment she's using it now as well so poor thing must have been exhausted right <laughs> I signed I signed everything for Jenny Jenny's on uh, Facebook and I still got my Husqvarna um, that I signed um, <laughs> I um, yeah I, I, I met Jenny at um, her Chanda wasn't it donkeys years ago and um, she's she's had a sewing machine that I signed she had some spray glue that I signed I, I, I don't know probably signed the back of her head at some point so yeah everything signed you could get a fortune for that um, Helene there isn't a pattern for it um, the measurements I I gave out they're on Facebook on my half yard sewing club Facebook page and if you subscribe to my website you should have had a message to say um, what the measurements were so there isn't actually a pattern I may was this morning oh oh it's Anne's birthday on Tuesday happy birthday Anne for Tuesday just realized I didn't order any cake from my Asda delivery. You have to buy your own cake. Oh, Anne. <laughs> okay. We'll do a bit of sewing now, shall we? Um, so I'm going to take the fleeced sides. And we're going to sew the short pieces to opposite sides of this, right sides together like so. And I'm going to use a quarter of an inch seam allowance and that should be up against the edge of the fleece there it's not the end of the world if you sew through it a little bit so i'm just looking for my fingers and um but it's it, if you keep the fleece away from the seam it gives it a nice square finish it's going to go square anyway when you iron it so don't worry too much about it but that was my thinking of cutting it a little bit shorter oh Zell sent you a cake and from Facebook right you have you buying your own cake Good. So one side sewn on. <laughs> Anybody else's birthday? Oh, look what I've done. I never even looked at the direction of the print, did I? Um, the one I made before didn't have a direction. This one does, so I'm jolly well going to unpick it and do it again. Because I don't want to be talked about. Um, don't you love an unpicker? I have to say, you know, that I know people who oh, the, the quick and pick. I think it's one of the best tools because how else would you get all these stitches out? So anyway, if you're a little bit behind, it gives you time to catch up. Surprise, nobody noticed. Um, Susan's birthday's on um, on Wednesday. She's got. She's, she's. I can't believe I'll be 68 and act like I'm 21. Um, yeah, it, it's. <laughs> It's a devil, isn't it? Because, you know, I, I don't feel like this. And then sometimes you catch a look of yourself in the mirror and you say, oh, that's my mother. 
looking back at me. But no, I, I don't feel 21. I maybe feel 30 at the moment. <laughs> yeah, Chris. I, I, no, normally it takes me ages to find my own picker because I never use it, do I? But there it was right in front of me as if I knew it was going to happen. Um, oh, Olive, we've been back. At, we're only about, what were we, about five minutes, five, ten minutes late, that's all. It was rebooting and starting again. I have no idea why that works, but it did. I'm going to sew it on the right way around now. Um, so many bottles of gin. She hid them away right before you came back. Know me too well. Right, let's sew this one. I'm just thinking I haven't cut enough pieces of fabric out either, have I? I've only cut one lining piece out and I should have cut two. I shall cut some more in a second. Um, so these two are going on opposite sides like so. So I will, at some point, make a video dedicated for YouTube with your measurements in um, metric as well as imperial. I'm not sure when it will be though, I'm afraid, at the moment, but a bit busy. Uh, right, so we've got that. And then the long pieces, I'm making sure these are the right, the right way round, will now go across the top and the bottom to make the square, like so. So again, just line up those edges. It should fit perfectly, but if that needs trimming down slightly, then that will be fine. I have a couple of pins in here. Elizabeth, 81-year-old dad used to say it was just a number. And, oh, sorry, you've disappeared again. Um, it's just a number. And friends, uh, um, and friends, when he passed, said they thought that he was a dyslectic dyslexic 18-year-old, 18 such was his attitude. So he got his one and his eight the, one, the wrong way around. So I like that idea. <laughs> that means I'm 16. Oh, no, I don't want to be 16 again. Um, oh, OK, I'll see you again, Alana. Hope you find your mojo. Right, let's get back, back down to the bottom of the comments. Oh, oh, now you've gone completely. Right. And again, just using a quarter of an inch seam allowance, if you've got a quarter of an inch foot, would be useful, but you know, it's, it's only a basket. It doesn't really matter if it's not exact. that and then finally this one goes on this side here like so so your fleece bits should all line up with the fleece on the opposite side there we go I shan't pin that for now keeping up Zell how are you getting on with yours Birthday. Oh, Bernadette's birthday on Monday. Happy birthday from Monday, Bernadette. Um, major, oh, Amanda's making reusable napkins. That's a good idea. Right. So we've got that. So now I'm going to pop the, now I'm going to have a sip of coffee actually, I forgot about that. And then we're going to put the, um, the ties on. Right. Susan will be 27 tomorrow if I reverse my actual age. 27 is a good age to go back to, I think. These are going to go facing downwards to the edge of the fabric where it crosses over here. So one there one here with the closed end at the bottom and the raw edge at the top and we need eight of those 
one there. There, you get the idea now. So just where the seam is, into the corner. Oh, just one side of the seam, actually. So not on top of it, just to one side, and then across there, down there, and there. So I'm not going to pin those. I, th I think I know where we're going to go with that. So it is very sunny. I apologise for the, the brightness up there. <coughs> so I'm just sewing within the seam allowance, so quite close to the edge. So that's there. This one's going to go level with that corner there. And then we'll flip it around and do the same here. So just along the seam. And we've got the folded edge at the bottom and the, the raw edge at the top here. And same on this one, so just inside the seam there. As it might be um, even Wednesday before I can get to do a a video for this, but um, I will do. Um, how do I chop with others on here and that? Well, you're doing Bernadette, I think. That's how you do it. Then that's down there. Just two more. So again, just along the inside of the seam there. And my last one is going in here. And then we'll make up. So that's going to be the inside of my basket. So I need to make up exactly the same with the lining. So for some reason, I think I've left it down at the house. Um, so I've got exactly the same pieces, but without the fleece on for this one. So I just need to cut some more pieces. Chat amongst yourselves. Hello, Maggie. Doesn't matter if you... Oh, look. Oh, that's not good, is it? Oh, I left, the, I left a mat standing up on end and I shouldn't do that. <laughs> Let's see if I can curl that back so I can use it properly. Um, I mean, in May I would be 73 if I reverse my age. Oh! <laughs> more fat quarters of this material. Um, I can't get more fat quarters, Laura. Um, I, I, I don't actually have those cut. Those come from the manufacturers and they don't have any, I'm afraid. So, no more fat quarters. So, just get that and that. And big ruler, and we'll cut some more. So I've got two 18 by 13, 18, two that measure three inches by 13, and two that measure eight inches by three. So I'll just cut these down again. So off with the selvage. So off you go. I've got this huge rotary cutter as well. So the other day, I don't know, I've got this one down here. Um, so two measuring 13. And that's not quite eight, is it? Oh, it is. Oh, that's, I don't you love it when that happens. And then two. Exactly eight. Fabulous. Right, sorry about that, let's carry on. So has anybody, oh, that's me ruler gone. Anybody tried logging into the club recently? Have they sorted it yet, do you know? I'm knocking everything off all over the place. Now, just like we did before, but without wadding, two short pieces each side with the pattern the right way around. And then two pieces 
down the sides. So these two go on first and then those two go on. This time I need to leave a turning gap and I'm going to do that in the base somewhere around here, maybe about three inches will do it. So let's sew these on first. Um, oh, I love it when you chat amongst yourselves. I feel like I'm imposing on some of your conversations sometimes. But again, same seam allowance as before, so a quarter of an inch will be fine. Ooh, a drunkard's path. Anybody made a drunkard's path? I have to admit I haven't, but I do like that design. That's um, lots of curves, isn't it? So anybody made one? Anybody used dies for one? Karen's asking. Oh, Susan, I cut a lot, cut a lot of fabric. <laughs> I wouldn't be without my rotary cutter, ruler, and mat. So those two are on there. And again, just making sure that everything's facing the right way. And we'll sew straight across there. Anybody keeping up? Yeah, if you wanted to pin, that's fine. Oh, thanks Bernadette. It says 505 error apparently. I know they're working on it. Right. I'm not worried about which direction the seam allowance is going in because it's not really going to matter when this is finished. So I'm just squishing it to one side. And then let's open that up. And the final piece. This is where my turning gap's going to be. I haven't forgotten. Actually, I did. And down we go. So we'll reverse here and snip. <laughs> Who's that? Would be 90. Debbie would be 95 if she reversed her age. Yeah, I suppose reversing your age only works if it goes younger, doesn't it? Right, Amanda will be 13. <gasps> so, <laughs> did you sort the world out then, Mary? Okay, well, couldn't you sort the world out at another time? There we go, with the gap in one side so I can turn it the right side out. I'm just going to give that a quick press because I like my seams to be pressed. Um, oh, cheese and pickle on toast. Oh, Lois, you've got a very good husband. Um, Michaela, nearly missed you've got to go to the naughty corner. No, cleaning the kitchen, cleaning out the kitchen cupboards on a Saturday morning, absolutely in the naughty corner. I think Leslie's still there. Oh, if you're watching, Leslie, it's been months. You, you can come out of the naughty corner now. OK, sorry about put, put people in the naughty corner and forget about them. <sighs> no more than they deserve, I'm sure. Um, right, yeah, Megan would be 31 if she reversed her age. There you go. Not the most important thing to iron at that stage. I just like my seams to be nice and uh, my, nice and flat. OK. The fabric, Janet, is actually my designer fabric and it is available on my website on Um So these are all, the, it's all my sketches, they're all my drawings of my sewing machine. And I thought it was quite nice. Um, the, uh, um, Vicky actually put the whole thing together for me, has put my initials in the bobbins. So it's, I don't know if you can see that, it actually says DS. It's on my, oh, on my, oh I'm trying to do that with one hand. On my Facebook page as a as a header. Yeah, I thought that was quite sweet. Rosina would only be seven. Oh, of course. <laughs> um, Samantha would be uh, sixty-four. Oh, Half Yard Club is working now. Oh, let's have a look. Uh, let's have a look if you don't if you don't mind. And um, it was so worrying, you know, when they, when you just can't log into the website. I said I'm, I'm going to I'm going to go live in just a second and promote this website to everybody, and and you can't see it. Let's have a look. 
so oh I'm so glad they sorted that out let's see if you can sign in no I can't sign in still maybe it just needs to catch up with me I'll have another go in a bit oh morning Patty in Alabama I think you're missing a time am I missing a time I'm you're right I'm missing a tie. Oh, there we go. Thank you. <laughs> Talking and sewing at the same time. I'm glad you spotted that one. Um, Sandra. Eagle Eye Sandra. Right. At least I cut the right amount. Okay, now we're going to sew these two pieces together with all of these straps facing inwards because we don't we don't want to sew over them there we go so pop that on there and I'm, I'm going to do this kind of the opposite way so I've got two seams here so I'm going to put the long 13 inch bit across there and we'll have a few pins in here I think it's working for Shelley. Um, oh, I do hope it's working because we, we we always have so many people join up after after these lives. It'd be oh Susan can log in too. Oh good. Um, it'd be a shame for those of you that um, are trying to join today that you you can't. I'm I'm trying to match up um, the corners. You can feel where those are. Again, it's not the most important thing. But if you can match up the corner seams here, then that's it'll just keep it a little bit squarer. Jilly's isn't working. Oh, we're getting there with it anyway. I'll try. I'll try again in just a second. I wonder if I can get it on my phone. I'll have a look in a bit. Phew. And then I'm going to sew all the way around the edge. I'm going to find my foot pedal. There we go. Do you ship fabrics to Australia? Um, yes, we do, Janet, um, but it's quite expensive. It's going to cost you about £28 for shipping to Australia, but we do. We have um, quite a few orders over there. People tend to, tend to order a lot to make the most of the shipping. But we can ship anywhere. I don't, don't mind where we ship to at all, anywhere in the world. Um, but some of them, like Canada. Canada is so expensive. It's something like anything that, that we send, no matter how heavy or, or how much it costs, is going to cost about £50. It's just ridiculous. Which isn't, well, you know, we're not making money on that. That's what, um, what Royal Mail choose. <laughs> Christine, if she reversed her age, would be 96. <laughs> so I'd, I'd be... Um, yeah, I said a bit of 16, wouldn't I? Uh, so again, just literally sew all the way around the edge. And then we'll turn it the right side out. Did I top stitch that one? Yes, I did. So the original one is now on the floor, because I keep knocking things over. Michaela will be 25. So there's certain ages I'd like to go back to, but I don't think I'd want to go any younger than that. Um, see the token block on the cord is that I can't remember I think it is next month so I can't remember offhand um, we do have um, some kits left by the way for the block of the month top if, you, if you're one of those that have been waiting for them or um, yeah, if you're waiting for them to come back into stock we do have a few left but I don't think we'll be getting any more I think everyone's got them now okay and then let's do that. Janet's just finished the front of the quilt. What, the whole lot? I've left the turning gap, Sylvia, in, in the bottom here because this is going to be on the top edge. So I wanted the turning gap to be somewhere quite hidden. So, no, I didn't forget this time. Um, as I'm always smiling as I sew. <laughs> not not always, Karen, only when you're watching. So I'm snipping off the corners to make the points a little bit more pointy. And then I'll turn it the right side out. We 
Where's my old? There's my old. Push that through. Trying to keep up with you. I'll be 17 now on the 27 in August. That'd be a big jump, wouldn't it, Jean? If, it, if that was for real. Okay, let's pull all of this out. Then we'll press it. I'm going to use my returning tool. Just poke that through there. Make the corner nice and sharp. Oh, <laughs> that wasn't the tool coming through. That was me obviously cutting too much off the corner on that bit. Not done that before. Right. So trim that a little bit too far. So I'm just going to re-sew it just inside. That's what I did look. That's read it. It's your fault. Read in the comments as I'm sewing. So I'll just sew just inside there, so I don't so I don't have a hole. Season will be thirty-six now, and forty-six in August. <laughs> Let's put that in there. Sarah, yeah, it, it happens sometimes with the postage on the website because we, we charge um, by uh, how much you spend. Otherwise, we would have to weigh every half metre of fabric that we have in the store. Um, so we, we, we set a blanket charge. So sometimes it does cost us more, but that's, that's just how it works out. So that's fine. Um, <laughs> Debbie spilled gin all. What have, I, what have I spilled? Honestly, you lot, you do get me talked about. What have I spilled gin on? If you're ordering fabric from the website, Debbie spilled gin. It wasn't gin, it was Prosecco. You're going to be sniffing your fabric now, aren't you? Just to see how boozy I am. Honestly. I do not have gin on cornflakes. That is a, that is a complete rumour. I have vodka. Right, just pressing this side. So something something flashed at me then. Something, not somebody. Hello Pamela in is that Banala in Australia. <laughs> I don't know what's happening there. My my screen's flashing. Hopefully that's uh, only happening here. So that's how we're looking. And then I need to hand sew that hole up at the bottom. But the way that it worked is that the, the corner pieces don't have the, um, the padding in them. So I think it sits a, a bit neater. So let's find me, let's find me hole. There's my hole. And a needle and thread. And we'll just sew that closed. I normally have one of these threaded up, but I didn't today for some reason. Um, blame the Prosecco. <laughs> Perks of the job. Don't forget, oh, thank you, Helene. Right, so I'm just going to do a quick slip stitch to close that over. So that might be easier. So into, let's take the loose thread off here. So into the one side and make the knot disappear inside the... So I'm trying to do this so you can see what I'm doing. Not disappear inside. That's already kind of ironed and then I'm just going to go into one side and out through the other. The smaller the stitch... Let's do a ladder stitch. The smaller the stitch the better because it'll be more invisible if it's a little stitch. But mine are about about quarter of an inch in length for this one. That'll be fine. Thank you, Laurie. I'm glad you like it. My, my own design, this one. Um, 
Rosina's never tried Prosecco. I do prefer a champagne, to be honest, Rosina. But you have to have something to celebrate for champagne, don't you? Prosecco's just like pop. <laughs> Honestly. Oh, now my needle's come undone. Um, I had all of the kitchen cupboard doors removed for repainting. <laughs> like ours repainted. We had a new kitchen last year. We don't like it. The doors are too dark, we decided. So we thought about having it repainted, but it does seem a little bit extravagant, doesn't it? Um, all four sides have the fleece, but the fleece doesn't go all the way along. Um, and I shall, I shall show you in just a second. And I've just sewn this up. So I'm rushing this a little bit, so it's not the neatest sewing. Um, Colette's sewing a crib quilt for a, for a new baby. Oh, congratulations. Um, okay, almost there with this. I don't think we've got any sewers along today, have we? Don't think Debbie likes anything on while she's sewing. I'm sorry? Naked sewing, Mary? Anything on the TV? No, is that, if that's what you meant. I don't. I don't have the radio on. I don't have the TV on. I like, I like the silence. I like to just listen to me tinnitus while I'm sewing. Right, let's knock that off there. It's a distraction. And I think it's, I don't know, because it's my work and I work from home. I wouldn't have the TV on in a workplace, so why, why would I have that on at home? I just, it's too distracting. It's not, I think. Yes, and we have underfloor heating in the living room and it is toasty and warm and wonderful. Um, so I can't remember who's asking about the, the fleece, but the fleece is in the sides here. So I just need to do that not in the corners so there's a square piece in the bottom one fleece there 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 and there but it doesn't actually reach into the corners um right i'm going to fold the sides over and give them a press and then we'll tie it up and then we're done um hello linda and prefer silence as well yeah i just find oh, i was going to sew around the top wasn't i um i just find i can concentrate more and you know, I, I don't sew very much for pleasure these days because I've got so much on for work. And with the work projects, there are deadlines for it. So it's, you know, it's quite serious. So I do need to concentrate on things and get things done. Anyway. <laughs> no, no music. No nothing, just nice and quiet. Little bit of bird song and dog barking, that's all. Just going to top stitch all the way around the edge. You can hear the birds now. See if they've gone quiet now I say that. I can hear tweeting away outside. Then when I say listen to the birds. Done it again. So literally just sewing all the way around the edge, quite close to the edge. Needle down when we come to the corner and turn around. And this helps to kind of keep its shape as well. It makes it nice and, and neat at the edge. Amanda listens to podcasts. He listens to podcasts in the car when I'm driving. And I, I was going to do a podcast, I think I said before. Uh, I've got all the equipment and the little studio and everything all set up, just haven't had time to do it. Um, but I do listen to the um, the Threads podcast, the American Magazine one, I, I quite like that one. Um, go on then. And then occasionally I'll listen to Liz Earl. I know she doesn't sew, but I do like, I do like a bit of Liz Earl. Radio on or Radio X? No, oh, can't stand the noise. So I only only think about the tinnitus, Katie, when we think about tinnitus, and it's really loud, isn't it? Um, let's take a blackbird to the vet. Oh, oh, what a shame! Oh, well, at least you did that, Lisa. That was the, the kind thing to do. We're done. So I'm just going to chop off the loose threads.
and then we just bring up the corners and tie them. So not too tight, just so that the edges meet. And we do that in all the corners. Again, you could press that bit as well, actually, if you wanted to make it a little bit sharper. We have, um, we've got loads of birds in the garden, um, but the blackbirds, um, Bernadette, I, I love them. We've, we've got, <laughs> we will we'll say this is the same blackbird, but it's probably got loads of blackbirds, but they all look the same. Um, and he's particularly fat, and we call him Jack Black, and he's very brave. I'm sure he must be the same bird every time. Um, but he's, he's kind of always there, and he's very cheeky, and if you drop a, a crumb on the floor, it'll come and get it and not worry about getting close to you. Um, and he comes up to... And now, he's the one, when we had the cats, the cats' um, feeding bowls are just inside the back door, and when the weather's nice and we leave the door open, he'd just come in and help himself to the cat food. They're just quite brazen. Um, it's just the same technique as a pet bed. Yes, I suppose it is, isn't it? But I stuffed it. But that one hadn't got the, the pointy corners. That, that was like four separate pieces and then stuff them and then bring them up. Yes, because you had a handle to it. Might be, might want something, well, I suppose you could actually. So you might want something a little bit more sturdy for a handle, but you could put a handle across that, make a basket out of it. That'd be a nice idea. Um, I did an e-book. I've done a few e-books for um, rainbow discs ages ago. Um, but yes, you can still get hold of those. Have a look on Amazon. That's finished. So let me just pick up the other one that I dropped on the floor to show you. So that was the, f oh, that, is, uh, that scraps fell in there. Look, what a nice scrap basket that would make. That's a good idea, Deborah. Um, so that's two of them finished. Uh, so again, apart from cutting them out, um, which didn't actually take very long. They were completed within, um, what, an hour and 10 minutes or something like that, with chat in between as well. Um, but it's a nice, I mean, you can make those in any size that you like, and it could be rectangular, um, and it could be square, so little diddy ones maybe to put, I don't know, your clips and things in, or bigger ones to keep bigger things in. But uh, I think you'll find them useful. Let me just have a quick look on Half Yard Club and see if I'm see if I'm back on again. Might have to restart, but we'll, we'll have a check just to make sure we're okay, because that was a bit of a, a worry. Can we do it? Can we do it? Let me refresh, restart. Not for me, but some of you um, are saying that you can get back on again, so I'm hoping that um, everybody will be okay by the end of the day. Um, how do we get a copy of the ebook on past hard to do? You in, it's introducing a new member. If you um, if you have a look on the website when it is up and running, or if you can get on it now, that's all explained in there. I think if you introduce a new member, you get sent a copy of uh, an ebook with um, I think there's ten projects on it. I think I need to, need to revisit that one. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, oh, I'm glad you like it. Thank you very much, Susan. Helene, glad you liked it as well. Um, thank you, Lisa, and, and thankfully you've had quite an easy day today. Um, thanks, Anne. Um, Sarah thought I'd been banned. <laughs> we don't ban anybody, Sarah, not unless you do lots of housework on a Saturday morning, then, then we might think about it. Um, Tilly's in, lovely. I, it might be when I restart the PC then, that should be okay then. So again, if you do, do want to come and join us, you can join for free for a month, so you can give us a trial. Um, if you put in the, I think I put it in the description box on YouTube, I'll have to add that to Facebook. Um, but if you put in the word welcome in capital letters when you go to check out, you can try us out for a month. So come and have a look and have a look at the projects and see if it's for you before you decide if you're going to stay with us or not. Um, hello Ariana, good morning from Florida, she said. An egg basket's a good idea, yeah? Um, right, I shall see you again on our Wednesday at four o'clock in the afternoon UK time. Um, and I can, Alison can log in. Oh good, I'm glad that's sorted out. 
A little log 13 next month and it'll be 100 in human years. Oh. Um, right, so I'll see you on Wednesday. On Wednesday, we are going to make a... So I'm looking for my mat to put my drink on. Um, I can't remember who suggested it, but it's going to be a one of those bags, um, a shopping bag that you can turn into a little pocket. So it, uh, there is one in my So Eco book. So I thought I'd, uh, I'd share that one with you. Um, Mary, I'd say two inches kind of scraps you need to save for the next month's project. The mat behind my right shoulder is next month's half yard sewing project, which is actually an overarm storage. It's got a zip in one side and it's got pockets in the other and a nice solid box on the top so things aren't going to roll out of it. And it's got a detachable pincushion, so if you're not sewing, you probably won't want a pincushion. You can keep your glasses and your remote control and your sweets in there instead. So that's what that one is. Right. Um, Let's catch up YouTube. So yes, I shall see you again on Wednesday. Um, otherwise, we'll be all oh, reply to Denise. How do I rejoin? Denise, you should be able to just do that online. Um, if you have any problems at all with, with anything to do with the Half Yard Club, can you email info at half halfyardsewingclub.com so info at halfyardsewingclub.com um, and the girls will get onto it straight away but you should be able to re-register just by logging in and going to you know um, to join again to as if you were a new member you should be fine with that um, I can't remember Sharon I think it's the turkey one but I'm, I'm not I'm not certain Margaret can't get on yet it might be a case of restarting I think that's um, that's what I'm going to do. Um, right, if I don't see you Wednesday. I shall see you again next Saturday at 11 o'clock in the morning. I don't think what we're doing then yet, but I'll, I'll come up with something. So enjoy the rest of your weekend. You take care. Thank you for joining me today. It's been fun, hasn't it? I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.